This is the second quick revision video on shapes of molecules. So I've based the video around an exam question where you're given the displayed formula for an organic molecule, so it's propanoic acid in this case, and you've just got to pick out all the different shapes and bond angles in the molecule and obviously explain it fully. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the first atoms we'll look at are these two carbons here. So they're both tetrahedral in shape. And the reason for that is you've got four electron regions around the carbons. They're all bonding regions. Therefore, there's equal repulsion. And the angle associated with that is 109.5 degrees. Next atom we'll look at is this carbon here. So again, we'll just go through the same format, shape, then explanation. So the shape is trigonal planar. We've got three electron regions around that carbon. Just remember that a double covalent bond counts as one electron region. They're all bonding regions. So there's going to be equal repulsion. And so the angle associated with that is 120 degrees. So we'll finish with this oxygen here, that's non-linear. We've got four electron regions around that oxygen, and that's because there are two bonding regions and two lone pairs on that oxygen. So now we have unequal repulsion, and I'm just going to give the order of repulsion strength. So lone pair to lone pair repulsion is greater than lone pair to bonding pair repulsion, which is greater than bonding pair to bonding pair repulsion. That's a much better way of explaining it than just lone pairs repel more than bonding pairs. So the angle associated with that is 104.5 degrees. Your starting angle for four electron regions is 109.5 degrees, which we saw here, but we subtract two times two and a half degrees, so five degrees in total for those two lone pairs.